Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I know before you guys anything it's a Minecraft video and I hope you guys start enjoying it because that's what I'm going going to do from now on. So, before I get to start this video, if you want to win my awesome giveaway, my 1 million giveaway, it's really easy. All you have to do is you ready for this? Ready? Pay attention. Comment your IGN, and that's it. Say stairs I want to win. That's it. How hard is that, guys? Like, how hard is that? If you're going to be the winner, you're going to win awesome one million. Like, bro, that's awesome. Like, totally awesome. But remember, I do not pick favorites. I love all of my subscribers, every single one of you people. I love you all. So this video is going to be very very different, it's going to be a gameplay of Minecraft as you could see, but it's going to be a, a commentary about something else. So let me get to the point, right, so the point is that this video is going to be a commentary, why, because I feel like commentaries are way better, because they get more, more, more I don't know, more views, and that's really what I need. I mean like not commentary like it depends what you talk about what I'm trying to say is that I just want to talk about something more interesting any cool gameplay right so in this video I'm going to talk about a awesome story now I'm 17 guys so yeah I'm going to well I'm still really young I still have a lot a lot way more to live on and yes, yes, don't bother me just because I'm way younger than you guys. That's not the point. And if you're older than me, congrats, bro. You're just older than me. What's the point? I'm just in college. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually just starting. So yeah. And by the way, tomorrow I have a big, big, big test. So if you guys could just please help me out, like comment. Stairs J, you could win the uh, the test. Like the, the like guys, like seriously, that's way money enough. Like that's big motivation. My subscribers helping me out. All right, guys. So, like I said, this video is going to be about a cool story that happened to Stairs J. Now remember, I'm just getting attacked by a creeper on his skeleton. Run. All right, guys. So this video is going to be about a story that happened to me now before we start remember grab your popcorn get chill get comfortable because i'm going to talk about my first love card my first love card i was i don't know maybe 10 years old and i was a pretty dumb boy didn't even know what sex was bro didn't even know what a condom was so then little stj no stupid and shit the, the doesn't even know the way of life so then he decides one day to make a love card to this special girl called Ashley now Ashley was a pretty attractive girl CJ used to say damn that girl's hot I have to have that booty like damn that booty is everything and so stage CJ the brave made a love card because he was too brave and couldn't talk to her he was too shy. You know how youngsters are. They're all shyness and shit. So little CJ didn't know what to do. He was extremely shy. So then he found a solution. Why not make just a love card? And it's really simple. So then CJ the genius did something amazing. That nobody in history has ever come down with. So there the little DJ wrote in the love card saying it's little DJ here all I'm one all I wanted to say is that I really like you and I'm being really a, a pussy for not telling you in this face to face so I hope you understand from DJ now I'm just kidding guys that it says something else I also said that it's from DJ I really like you could we be more than friends if you like me comment yes or no and I was thinking about giving it to her and I was like 
damn, I'm really shy, I'm really excited to be a pussy, why the fuck do I have to do this, I'm just gonna grab that paper, grab it, put it, wrinkle it to a million pieces and throw it away, and let my, my, my child heart, my, my young love, my first love just run away, and guess what happened guys, guess what happened, a girl named Gina, she knows everything what happens, and she knows who I like, so I told her, Hey Gina, can you help me out? I really like a girl and I made a love card for her and I really do not know what to do. And I showed her the love card. I showed her what it said and she's like, damn, you're such a wimp. Why don't you just give it to her? It's really easy. Let me do it for you. I was like, damn, thanks Gina. You're such a good ass friend. And I gave it to her. And then I started thinking through things through. I'm like, what the shit am I doing? Why the fuck am I gonna give this to Gina? Gina's being such a bitch. Like, for those who do not know Gina, Gina has been such a torture in my life. Like, I never liked that hoe, and I do not know why I even gave this card to her. Maybe I was just so desperate to give this card to her that I gave it to Gina by an accident. So the point is that I gave it to her. I'm like, Gina, no, no. I changed my mind. I wanted to give it back. Give it back to me. I'll give it to her. And I was, I was lying. I did not want to give the card to Ashley, I was way too shy, and then Gina was off, she was off running, she ditched me, just to give the card to Gina, I mean, not to Gina, to Ashley, I'm like, yo, you fuck, why the fuck are you doing this to me, I thought you, we were friends, and apparently, you are not friends, she backstabbed me, that day, our relationship ended, that's why I hate her so much, but the point is that I gave her the card and she went running off and then guess what I was way too shy to enter the classroom and then when I entered the classroom guess what happened I thought Ashley was going to tell me something but apparently somehow the teacher has the love card I'm like oh my fucking god oh my fucking god this is my day little CJ was really red he was really, really shy. I'm like, oh my fucking god, what the fuck just happened? I want to fucking kill myself, man. But luckily, none of that happened. So little CJ just so told the teacher, how the fuck do you have my card, bitch? And the teacher told me, well, actually gave it to me because she said she wanted me to give it to you. So I read the card and guess what it said? Remember you remember I commented on the paper saying do you like me? Yes or no? And what do you think that it had? Yes or no? I'll give you five seconds to to get it right Done yet five seconds up. I think it's I think so so it didn't say yes or no It just said as a friend I didn't like you. I only like you as a friend, DJ. You got any problem? And I'm like, holy shit. Like, little DJ was heart fully heartbroken. Like, oh my fucking God. My love of my life. Just say no to me. She only likes me as a friend. What am I going to do? My love of my life betrayed me. I'm like, and I was like, meh. I don't give a shit. Well, back then I used to give, I used to give fucks. But now, I don't give a shit. Like, like, if I... If I could go back in time and fix things up, things wouldn't be like that. Like, I, I, I would be fucking Ashley right now. Like, I would be totally fucking Ashley right now. Like, knowing how Steve J is right now, like, damn, he get a lot of bitches. Like, nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I, I really do not care if I get a lot of bitches. I'm like, I have fangirls. No, I, I have fangirls, but I'm not showing off or anything. Remember, remember, Steve J was, was a little heartbroken. His heart couldn't take it anymore. So, the next day, I was, oh, Macho Steven, the most big manliest man of all. DJ was trying to impress Ashley, somehow. So then, little DJ in the playground playing jump rope. A big man playing jump rope, trying to show off for Ashley. So then, little DJ fell, and... I, he fell on his cheek 
And so out of nowhere, a big fucking fat ass came and fucking sat on my fucking cheek. And then I was like, holy shit, man, this fucking dude's ass me like, shit, man, like, when was the last time you fucking changed your pants, bro? But then again, Ashley came just in time saying, oh my fucking God, Steven, Steven, are you okay? DJ, are you okay? And I was like, bitch, do you think I'm okay? My chick is fucking bleeding. What the fuck you think? And then I was really convinced that she liked me because she was crying a lot. Like, I I'm saying a lot. And by a lot, she was crying a lot. And I'm like, damn, she has to like me. And then I asked her, why the fuck were you crying about me, bitch? And she's like, because I really like you as a friend. I really have friendliness for you as a friend. I'm like, really, nigga? And so, yes, that was my first love, sort of. So, if you guys liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more stuff like that, just tell me. Well, not a like. That will just tell me if you like this video or not. I hope you liked the commentary and the gameplay. The gameplay wasn't much. Maybe next video I'll go mining or do a little Hungry Games. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.